Hey beautiful souls, thank you so much for being here and welcome, my name is Danielle. So today's pick a card topic is their exact thoughts and feelings today. So I will be pulling a couple oracle cards as well as channeled messages. And towards the end of each group, I will be rolling the astrology dice and pulling the, or shaking up the initial tiles for extra confirmation. If you would like to book something personal with me, there's a few readings links at the top of my description box you could also visit my websites and yeah that's pretty much it so let's dive in so group one you have the star child tarot with this druzy moon very pretty very sparkly group two you have the rider weights deck with this honey calcite heart and group three, you have the Ascension Tarot with this Amethyst Point. All right, so timestamps are listed in the middle of the description box, as well as pinned in the comments section, and I'll see you lovelies at your reading. Hey, group one, you chose the Druzy Moon with the Star Child Tarot. Welcome. And I love that little angel number that uh, you have for the timestamp. 111 so that may be significant uh let me know if there's an angel message that stands out for you with 111 in the comments all right so let's dive in oh i have one that's already flipped over here let me see that happened to me the last reading too okay all right, <laughs> going with this one, we have the Queen of Cups. What is group one's person's most recent thoughts and feelings? With the sun, with Leo. The moon, the sun and the moon. All right, Pisces. Eight of Crystals. The Star. Aquarius. Six of Cups, Scorpio. All right have here we have the four of cups and the ace of wands that probably just drove you crazy the way I did that didn't it <laughs> okay all right so a lot of uh, emotions coming through here um cancer pisces scorpio all right okay I feel with the star and the six of cups, your person's really thinking of you, uh, really missing you and getting, being, um, is very emotional during this time. They have a lot of feelings that are coming up and I feel like they're inspired to take action, um, on these feelings that they're having. I'm, I'm getting an image of somebody like writing in a notebook. So your person could be into like journaling, um, you know, creative writing, maybe they're an author or, you know, into poetry or they may even like songs. I feel like this person is very creative uh, um, as well. They could be into like arts and music. Very focused here. I feel like right now they're trying to find balance, like balance their energies out. Um, Actually, I feel like they're the most balanced right now, even though they do have a lot of feelings coming up. I feel like for them, now is the time to take action or do something inspired about um, all of these emotions that are coming to the surface. And given that we are in one heck of a ride here with everything going on with eclipses, new moons, full moons, <laughs> Mercury retrograde and whatever else or that comet and who knows what else <laughs> so much going on I feel like 
your person's at a point right now where they can do something like I'm kind of getting like prior to this your person was feeling very unmotivated maybe even bored they didn't know what to do not really bored of this connection but I feel like they just didn't have they were lacking energy and I feel like your person's really thinking of you with fondness and a whole lot of appreciation and love in their hearts for some of you, your person could be writing you a love letter. Okay. I want to see here. I'm guided to clarify the moon. Why is the moon here? We have the seven of crystals. Okay. I feel like your person could also be practicing meditation, like going within. Um, yeah, actually, this is quite um, different from what I usually get. Like, this person's calm. Like, just because they're, they have a lot of emotions coming up doesn't mean that they're, like, all chaotic about it. And it's interesting, though. Okay, why is the Four of Cups here? The Magician. We have Gemini and Virgo. Mercury. All right. Yeah. They're this uh, feeling of boredom, feeling dissatisfied. It's no longer serving them. So they're instead tapping into that creative potential. And like I said, with Mercury um, ruling communication, I feel like this could also be somebody who's wanting to come back into your life. As well, like Mercury retrograde, sometimes, you know, people from the past will uh, show up if this is somebody that you're interested in uh, coming back. If not, then um, do some sort of protection ritual to <laughs> keep them away, I guess. But yeah, there's just a lot of fondness in this person's heart right now. I feel like they have something to say. Something that they want to communicate with you. Okay, why is the Ace of Wands here? Seven of Swords. Yeah, they have something, some sort of uh, plan up their sleeve here. Uh, they're feeling guided to take some sort of inspired action, but they're not saying anything they're keeping it to themselves let's get one more clarifier for that queen of crystals okay yeah they want to um yeah i'm get i'm feeling like a lot of giving here so i feel like your person's um really balancing like I said the masculine and feminine energies and they're wanting to come through giving to um this connection but they're not showing it quite yet they're not showing their their hand but it's in the works whatever they're planning But they're feeling hopeful that um, that things will work out between the two of you. That you will feel just as um, excited as they are about this. I feel like your person's not really in a state of fear right now. They're feeling quite hopeful, quite positive. Um, yeah, very, very much missing you during this time. And even the Six of Cups can sometimes talk about somebody from your past. So this could be like someone you have history with, um, an old friend, an old flame. Maybe somebody that feels like a soulmate connection. Okay, what else? What else are they thinking and feeling?
Ten of Swords. Three of Crystals. The Wheel of Fortune. We have Sagittarius. And Ace of Swords. All right, yeah, they, they're thinking of making a huge change here. Um, I feel like your person wants to clear the air. There's definitely something on their minds that they need to share with you. They've come to some realization. Now, whether I feel like this has to do with some truth over a painful ending. Um, let's see here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is Ten of Swords here? strength. Okay, you have somebody that's healing from pain. So whatever like painful situation has happened in the past for you, if that is the case, um, your person is healing from this. They've been working on healing. And I feel like this is also where this four of cups comes in. It's like, okay, you know what, I've done a lot of healing. Now's the time to get out there. Like I feel inspired. I feel like I've done enough crying like it doesn't hurt anymore it's i'm i'm confident enough that i can move forward now and i feel like again this person is really feeling guided to come towards you and express something and it could be through journaling through um creative writing or whatever even like songs um that they've done the majority of their healing that could be how they process everything So why is the Wheel of Fortune here? King of Cups. Yeah, they've done some. Uh, they've they've grown. They've um, emotionally evolved and matured. I feel. Now I. I feel like this isn't the type of person that's typically doesn't always show their emotions but they do have like a, a generous spirit and a generous heart here and they want to share this with you they're ready to share this why is the ace of swords here what is this truth and clarity page of wands yeah they have something they need to communicate with you um some sort of truth and clarity I feel like this is something that the both of you need actually because I'm feeling like it's not just something that they need to say I feel like it's something that's going to benefit the both of you okay let's get one more clarifier three of cups yeah they want to come back this person wants to reunite they feel like it's going to be a positive outcome whatever they have to say to you um it's going to resolve some sort of issue possibly in the past since we have the six of cups here and i feel like with the three of cups this is somebody who's coming um really expressing their emotions I also feel with the Three of Cups that this is going to be like, even though they are serious, I feel like it's going to be very calm. I, I often see the Three of Cups as like friendship, celebrating, having fun. So I feel like this isn't going to be like a, A matter where the two of you need to stress and worry about I feel like this is going to be very calm and it's very relaxed it's going to feel it's going to feel right if that makes sense <laughs> it's not like you know how sometimes when someone's like okay we, we should sit down and talk you're like oh my god what is this like you go into panic mode sometimes I feel like this is definitely not that <laughs> it's um They're feeling inspired to 
say this to you and they feel like it's the right time that the two of you are moving to the right place in order for them to come towards you and reconcile with you. I feel like you have somebody here that wants to come back uh, and solidify this connection. So I feel like this person doesn't want to go anywhere. Like they, once they have this three of cups with you, this reunion, they want this to be like, that's it. Like the two of you are stuck with each other now. <laughs> All right, so let's see some Oracle cards. Okay, what are they thinking and feeling? All right, we have summer, so summertime may be significant. That could also be somebody's name. And we have separation. You could have separated in the summer. I also feel like the separation could be coming to an end in the summer. Let's get one more. Spring. Okay, we have spring and then summer. Yeah, there's um, a new face happening here. I feel like the separation could be coming to an end. Clarify separation. Not that I feel like we really need to clarify it, but let's see. Four of Wands. Yeah, I feel like the two of you had broke up. You could have like actually separated. Could have been like living together and you moved out. Let's get one more. I feel like they, yeah, they want to put an end to the separation. They want the four of wands with you. That also is my 1111 card. And you guys did already pick like 111. So again, those numbers may be significant. Six of crystals. Yeah, they want to, they want to end the separation. They want to come back. I feel like they're feeling guided, like it's the right time. I don't I don't think I've ever had like two seasons come out in one before. All right. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to shuffle out your message cards. And I think I'm going to get a time. Uh, do I? Yeah, you know what? I'll get a time frame anyways, because summer and spring could represent when you separated. I also feel like for me, like summer, spring and summer, I associate those seasons with like innocence, um, inner child, playfulness, um, flirting, especially spring. When I think of spring, I think flirting. So <laughs> there could be some playfulness, flirting going on. Um, very soon since we're already in spring while I'm filming this. We just entered spring about a week ago. So yeah, although this reading is timeless. So all right, I will be right back with your messages. All right, let's see what they want to say to you. I feel a sense of peace and warmth when I'm around you. So yeah, like I was saying, when the two of you come together, come together to have that talk or whenever they approach you to have this talk I feel like it's it's not um yeah there might be like your heart might be racing a little bit but I feel like it's not going to be stressful it's going to be like calm and relaxing are you seeing anyone 
So they want to know if you're seeing anyone. When you fall asleep, I whisper in your ear how much I love you. So that could have happened um, with the two of you. I also feel like this person could have dreams or fantasies, daydreams of you falling asleep next to them. And they're whispering in your ear how much they love you. We have I don't hate you. Um, well, I was going <laughs> to obviously with this. So if you're thinking that this person hates you, the answer is no. I'm sending my love. I have a lot on my plate right now. Yeah, I feel like they are very busy. We have avoidant attachment. That could have been like part of the reason why they weren't reaching out before. If they, and maybe you were thinking they hate you. They're like, no, I don't hate you. I have a lot on my plate right now. We have family is important to me. They could be dealing with some family stuff right now. Uh, I've never felt this comfortable around anyone else. I deeply value trust and loyalty. More than friends. They want to be more than friends. I have been avoiding that conversation. And we have avoided attachment. I'm seeing you in a new light. I feel like they're getting to a point where they're not wanting to avoid that uh, conversation anymore. We have, I rushed into another connection and I regret it. So they could be leaving this other connection if that resonates. Maybe they're separating from somebody else. We did have that separation with the Four of Wands. We have get to know you more. I love you unconditionally. The energy is off. Yeah, I feel like with the other connection, the energy is off. They could also be feeling like the effects of everything going on right now as well. My mental health hasn't been so good lately. And then we have, I'm mentally preparing to tell you how I feel. So we have like a lot of mental energy and then like... um well, a lot of emotions, a lot of love here. I feel like in the past, they have been avoiding a lot. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're really doing, they've been doing a lot of healing. A lot of um, journaling. Or like I said, whatever output they have. That has to do with writing, communicating, music. For some of you, this person could also be in a band as well. Could be a mu musician. Okay, let's clarify this. Let's clarify this. All right. Let's clarify, I rushed into another connection. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is really, they definitely regret it. With the two of swords it's been confusing for them i feel like their their thoughts were clouded at that time when they did that i feel like they're i mean maybe for some of you they could currently be in another connection um but i feel like they're freeing themselves of this let's get one more the empress Okay, we have Taurus and Libra. They could have kids with somebody else as well. But I feel like what I'm getting here this person missing you and you know I regret it I feel like this person has never gotten over you and they could have rushed in specifically to try and get you off their mind I know it's not mature um, they could have had like at that time 
honorable intentions with that other party. Or maybe they, well, we see the word rushed. So I feel like they didn't do it to, you know, make the other person, if this is the case, feel like crap and mistreat them. But I feel like they they know that they shouldn't have done it, that it wasn't the right choice at that time. And that they need to get out of this situation. Or they already have gotten out of this situation. Clarify my mental health hasn't been so good lately. That kind of reminds me of like Four of Cups energy as well. Seven of Wands. Okay, I feel like... This person doesn't really talk a lot about what is going on with their, you know, in their mind or in what they're feeling. Well, I guess that, that does make sense with all the avoidant attachment and the uh, avoiding conversations. Two of Wands. Okay, I, yeah, I feel like they're, they've made the choice. They want to tell you how they feel so they're now they're mentally preparing themselves or, or they have been over however long <laughs> this has been um yeah i feel like this person is ready to come towards you and say something here and they don't want to be just friends so i feel like they're going to make that clear to you like, hey, are you seeing anyone? And yeah, you know what? I feel this connection with you, but I feel like I want to be, I want to explore uh, more than friendship with you. All right. Let's see if we can get a time frame. Now, again, some of you, this could be for spring and summer. Okay, when is this person going to tell group one how they feel? I was going to say group two. <laughs> when are they going to tell group one how they feel? Springtime. Okay, so very soon. It could also be like near the end of spring towards the beginning of summer. So I really feel like we don't need any more time frame because we already had spring, we had summer, and we have springtime again. So I feel like this springtime may be very significant for this connection. And again, like I say, take time frames with a grain of salt because things can shift at any moment and also don't beat yourself up if it doesn't happen right away especially if this is something you're trying to uh, manifest all right so let's get your zodiac signs we have third house gemini uh what are you Ninth house, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Cancer. Okay, so we definitely have, like, strong spring and summer energy coming through with um, Gemini and Cancer. And then we have Sagittarius as well, the sister sign to Gemini. So could have a Gemini stellium or a Cancer stellium. We have C, N, G, 
W O K U B R U E Ru Mostly Ruby What birthstone is that? Is that for May? Or is that July? Let me know in the comments. I don't usually remember these things. We have O. I'm seeing book. So they could be writing a book. I'm seeing Corey. I E P Y E S I and E. Sing boy. We have gray. Could have gray hair or gray eyes. Sing puck. So it could be into hockey or place hockey. I'm also seeing yes. Aaron, Owen, Chris, I'm also saying crispy, Um, yeah, I think seeing bug. Could have Kylie. I'm seeing spy. So they could be creeping your social media if they're not blocked. If they are blocked, then they're figuring out a way to check up on you. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm also getting Giuseppe. I don't know if I have all of the the tiles. I think it's with two P's, but whatever, it's there. Giuseppe could also have Corinne or Corinne. All right, so that is what I have for you, group one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you guys all the best. Hopefully you hear from this person soon, and I'm sending you so much love. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group two, you chose the Rider Weight deck with the Honey Calcites. Welcome. All right. I'll place it here. Okay, so what are group two's person's exact thoughts and feelings right now? Eight of Cups. The Hermit. The Virgo. Page of Swords. All right, we have the Five of Cups. Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, ooh, painful. This person regrets walking away. I 
All I'm hearing now is, um, in my head, is Justin Bieber's song, Ghost. As I'm looking at the Page of Swords. With the Page of Pentacles. For some of you, this person could have, um, with the Eight of Cups, the Hermit, and the Page of Swords, this person could have needed or have been forced to move for education. So this is why there could have been this painful ending. Maybe the two of you couldn't make long distance work or maybe they didn't even try and they're regretting this. And we have Scorpio with judgment. All I'm hearing from this person is I could have done better. I could have tried harder. I should have done more. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting like choked up all of a sudden. It's not like that I'm like going to cry. <laughs> I'm not going to cry or anything, but. Sudden, like, yeah, I feel like choked up, like <clears throat> something in my throat. Um, yeah, for some of you, they this person knows that they didn't try hard enough, they didn't give enough, they didn't they didn't do as much as they could have, and. They know that they hurt you and they are hurting themselves. So I feel like this person understands in some way or, you know, they're, they're hurting as well. They may not fully understand how you feel, especially if they were the ones that hurt you, but they are hurting. Okay, why is the Eight of Cups here? Oh, wow. Okay. So they walked away after an argument. Could have been a fight that caused this ending. Why is the Hermit here? Two of Wands. Yeah, they could have actually moved. This person's holding like a, a globe in their hand. Um, I feel like because of the situation with you, uh, this person has decided that they need to go within and figure out I feel like they, actually, you know what? Let's get another clarifier. For some of you, it's because they, they needed to leave. Like they, it's not, they needed to leave you. I feel like they needed to, it was for them, but they could have, you know, tried to make it work with you. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, yeah, if they were, you know, trying to figure out, you know, maybe why you were so upset, especially with this argument, they could have been like, they could have even, even literally said to you, I don't even know why you're so upset. It's like really not a big deal. They understand now. They're like, oh, okay. And yeah, this person's really kicking themselves. Because for some of you now, all they have is you... Some of you don't even want to talk to this person, I feel, and all they could do is watch you or ask about you. I feel like for some of you, they might, they, <laughs> they may even be scared to talk to you. Um, why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, this, they rejected you. They didn't make it work. 
and they regret this. You could have even reached out to them after this um, break, after this ending. And maybe they ignored you. They rejected you. They're like, no, like I'm good or whatever their excuse was or their reasoning was. Yeah, they're like, you know, I should have. I should have just heard what group two had to say. I should have just been open to this I should have taken this offer like why didn't I take this offer I'm so stupid is what I'm feeling or what I'm hearing your person is thinking right now why is the ten of swords here ace of wands well, not taking reversals so ace of wands I feel like they still even after this ending like they still have passion for you what's the three of swords here the hierophant we have taurus i feel like this person for some of you this is such a sad pile um they could have promised, there could have been like promise rings involved, like almost an engagement and it's like they broke their promise to you. I hope this person didn't do anything else to hurt you. Some of you, this person, yeah, I mean, I don't even want to say it, but I feel like you would already know this. For some of you, they could have cheated. But I feel like you would know this if they did. Like, this is not like a, oh, maybe they cheated. But no, I feel like you would absolutely know this. All right. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? The Lovers, Gemini. Yeah, they didn't give enough to this connection. It was almost like they gave breadcrumbing, like breadcrumbs. But I feel like also with the Page of Pentacles, this person is thinking of reaching out and saying something and seeing if you're still open to whatever offer that you were wanting to give. But I feel like some of you have already shut this door. Why is judgment here? The Empress, yeah, because they lost you. We have Libra and Taurus. For some of you, some of you have already moved on. And this person is seeing it and they're like, wow, I, man, did I ever screw up. Or they know that other people are interested in you. They're hoping that you'll forgive them. But they're not sure. All I'll say, group two, is don't settle for breadcrumbs, especially if that's not what you what you're wanting. Um, be sure to set firm boundaries with this person if they do come back around. Even if this is somebody that yes, you you feel this connection with, you want to be with, you do feel a spiritual connection. Uh, or whatever, you know, don't, don't bring yourself down. Don't, you know, don't forget about your values and what you want, your goals, your dreams. Make this person work for it. Not that you have to torture them because that's not right either. Um, but I feel like if this person was like giving you like nothing or breadcrumbs, I would say, you know, this person should show up and be serious about this. Like if they're going to be crawling back to you, I feel like you deserve more than breadcrumbs. You deserve more than empty promises. 
Like, this person needs to be showing up in their divinity. So, you know, stand firm in your values and your beliefs and with what you want. Like, if, if you're looking for happily ever after, you want kids or pets or whatever, whatever your goal is with, um, like, let's say you're looking for marriage or commitment, long-term commitment. If this person's like, mm, I don't know if I want to commit, but you have always wanted commitment, that would be your your cue, your red flag to be like, uh, no, sorry, this is what I want. Like, I, I know there's compromises in um, ca relationships. So that is normal. There's always, yeah, compromises. But you shouldn't have to compromise, like, big, huge things like that. Especially if you've done this in the past with this person. If you've compromised, like, all of yourself, all of your dreams, all of your goals, your values, who you are as a person... Just to make this person comfortable, I feel like, no, it's their turn. You guys deserve to get what you want. So, I would say boundaries for sure. All right. Let's keep going. What are their thoughts and feelings? Strength, we have Leo. We have the world. Capricorn. The Fool. Wow. Okay, so we have a completion of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. So this person may have done some growing uh, with Strength, the World, and the Fool here. Maybe they're ready to just take that leap of faith and, you know, reach out and see if you're still open to this connection. Or whether or not, like, you might end up rejecting them. Rejecting their offer. But I feel like they're thinking, okay, well, maybe I should just, you know, run with the wolves and go with it. Devil. Wow. Look at the soul major arcana. Okay, we have Capricorn again. And Aquarius with the fool. All right, so... Yeah, I feel like they're a little bit scared. They're scared to reach out to you. But this may be what they need to do. Clarify the world. There's a world here. Nine of Wands. Okay. No, this person wants to finish this. I feel like they want this new beginning this new beginning they haven't thrown in the towel completely they haven't given up I feel like this person may try with you a couple times before um they give up if they do like if they reach out to you and you're like no I feel like they'll try again why is the fool here death Scorpio Yeah, they want this new beginning. This person's like determined to win you back, I feel. Why is the devil here? We have the Ten of Cups. The cut of fears when it comes to commitment. So again, that could have been the issue. Like I was saying, if this person's like, oh, I don't know if I could do commitment, that would be, but that's exactly what you want, what you're looking for. Like, hey, commitment, no situationship, no friends with benefits. I want you and me together. Let's do this or whatever. <laughs> I feel like your person is going to have to work through their fears and insecurities. 
Let's get one more clarifier. Why is the devil here with the Ten of Cups? Page of Wands. Hmm. I am getting lusty vibes from this person. So group two, all I have to say is stand your ground. Unless you want, like maybe you enjoy doing your thing with them. Um, that's perfectly okay. That's up to you. For those of you that, you know, you don't care if it's a situation ship or friends of benefits. Uh, obviously, <laughs> you do you. Um, maybe that really makes you happy with the Ten of Cups. It's like ultimate, you know, happiness, just having fun. But I also feel like I said, this person is scared to communicate with you because that could also be communication. Actually, let's clarify specifically Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Page of Cups, we're getting a lot of pages. Okay, this person's like flirty. Yeah. I feel like this person's going to try and turn on the charm. Because I feel like this person knows that you go crazy over them. I don't, I don't know if it's the way they speak or like their eyes or their lips or what it is about them. But I feel like this person like just has you weak in the knees. Like this person's like irresistible to you. Not that they may not be anymore at this point, but after what happened. But I feel like this person is scared to reach out and open up and apologize but I feel like they know that they need to like if they do want that ten of cups with you the lover's card they need to do it they need to face their fears find the strength find the courage and reach out and approach you All right, so I'm going to shuffle out your message cards and I will be right back. You know what? I got a, I got ahead of myself there and realized I didn't even do your oracle cards. So I'm just going to leave those there and pull your... Actually, I'm going to have to move them. They're in the way. Okay. I was... <laughs> getting another message um with the page of wands you know with this person being tempting the intimacy with them could have been like like chef's kiss <laughs> so again i mean maybe that's something you want but it, if you honestly are looking for more, I would say, you know, again, it goes back to boundaries. Don't make yourself smaller just to make this person comfortable, to give them everything they want, and you end up hurt all over again. But it could be that maybe they're the ones now looking for the connection or the commitment and maybe you're like yeah you know what let's just keep things casual let's just you know have fun it could be like completely reversed Ooh, we have romance we have support New beginning. Okay, so I feel like this person's asking for help and support in this situation. Um, I also feel like they could be asking someone about romance, especially, especially if that's not something they're familiar with. Maybe you wanted 
more romance in the relationship or in the connection prior to um, the breakup. And it could be that, again, they didn't give you enough of that. Maybe you were, maybe your love language is like gifts, like receiving gifts. And this person maybe never bothered to really ask you or show an interest in what you truly like. This person could be like, oh, you want gifts? Like, here's a bag of socks or whatever, <laughs> which, you know, some people are happy with socks, but I feel like if you're looking for, like, if you are the type that really wants, you know, something pretty or something that you truly love and they show up with, oh, well, I bought you socks from the dollar store or whatever, um, with no thought. I feel like this person is now asking, okay, what could I do? How can I make this better? Like, how can I prove to group two that I'm serious about this this time? Sorry to anyone that likes socks as a gift, you know, I'm at that age now where I, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. Where sometimes it's nice to receive other things other than, uh, socks. <laughs> so, yeah, they do want a new beginning with you. All right. I'm scared to get close, so that could be part of the issue. We have, I think we should be friends. I feel like they're worried that you're going to say this. They could have said that to you in the past and maybe you're like, uh, no, we have, I'm not good at flirting. So they could also be asking somebody, you know, like how, what would I say to like, how would I let group two know that I'm flirting with them? Like what are some good flirting tips? They could also be looking online if they're too like, um, self-conscious about reaching out to somebody like maybe they're scared they're going to be laughed at or judged for wanting to know more about love romance intimacy all of that so they could be watching videos we have under your spell your confidence is extremely sexy so you could be intimidating to them as well I can't tell how you feel. I will never stop caring for you. I love you. Are you still with them? I have been preparing myself to face you. I don't want to lose you. I'm going to reach out. I just don't feel good enough for you. Yeah, you're coming through as confident. Um, they can't tell how you feel. They're not. They're coming through like I'm not good at flirting, and whereas they're like, I don't feel good enough. So I don't know what you guys have been doing, group two, but maybe you have been working on no longer accepting breadcrumbs. You're like stepping into your power, taking your power back, and you know you go, girl or guy or. You, you go, you. <laughs> we have baby girl. That could be a something that they call you. Um, a cute, a cute little nickname that you know has you weak in the knees. We have thank you for the lesson, so they could have learned a very valuable lesson in this experience. We have I forgive you. I feel like they're hoping that you'll forgive them. I enjoy your company. Am I too late? You have my love. Man, this person's coming through with all the nicknames. Maybe that's how they flirt. I want to spoil you. I keep seeing your name everywhere. Yeah, I got really excited about that, didn't I? <laughs> I made a list of all the songs that remind me of you so they could have like a little playlist of songs that they want to maybe they want to like buy some flowers and put on the music and 
you know, spoil you a little bit and treat you like um, the divine god or goddess that you are. The divine being that you are. All right. So we have Aries with the first house. We have fifth house Leo. We have Leo again and Aries again. So Aries and Leo. <laughs> Strong, fiery energy. We have L, L O L. We have H, getting Holly. T. We have L, F, H, G. I see light. We have B, U, B, I, A, Allie. I'm also seeing Hallie, Abby, and we have O. Okay, I'm seeing two different Abbeys. So we could have like Abby, like Abigail, or we could have like A B H I, Abby. Um, I'm also seeing the word gift. I'm seeing laugh. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Allie, did I say Allie? I know I said Hallie. Allie, Allison. Could have Aaliyah, but we don't have an, a Y or another A. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. That is what I have for you, group two. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you guys all the best. And oh, you know what? Don't go anywhere. I'm going to pull a timing card. All right, when will this person reach out to go to? When will this happen for group two, another person? Around March. Well, we are in March as I'm filming this. So, I don't know, you could be waiting a year? Uh, it, this also depends, like again, like my readings are timeless, so let's get another one. Have faith. For some of you, it could happen, like, very soon, like, in this last week of March. Okay, so, actually, you know what? One more. Within three months. Okay, so anywhere within three months to a year. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere between now and three months or three months right here you know what maybe just go with the have faith <laughs> well 
How helpful was that? Yeah. Okay. I'm laughing at myself. I'm not laughing. <laughs> like, just laughing at how ridiculous I was just there. Okay, so. Yeah. All right. I, yeah, I'm leaving them there. So that is what I have for you this time for real group two thank you so much for watching i wish you guys all the best and i will see you in the next one take care bye bye hey group three you chose the ascension tarot with the amethyst points welcome all right how does group three's person what are their exact thoughts and feelings okay death starting out with death scorpio You heard a strange noise in the background. It's just my youngest hacking up along. We have the soul, which is the fool. So we have ending, a new beginning. Oh, geez. It sounds like she's getting a cold all over again. All right. We have the two of swords. Temperance with Sagittarius. What are their exact thoughts and feelings right now? Knight of Cups. Three of Cups. We have Perspective with the Hanged Man. Pisces. And we have the Six of Swords. Okay, yeah, so there seems to be like some sort of transformation happening in this connection, at least happening within their thoughts and feelings with the, um, the hanged man here. I feel like they're having some sort of like epiphany, some sort of awakening um, in regards to their feelings, even though like they're still a little unsure of what to do um, about these new thoughts and feelings that are arising. I feel like they're trying to get out of their head and find balance i feel like they do feel a little bit overwhelmed at this time i feel like these for some of you this is like entering in a new phase here i feel because i'm seeing the knight of cups with the three of cups and this we see these three girls on the beach you know when i first saw when i first saw this card i thought these were like little buckets um their drinks little like cocktails but originally i thought they were like making sand castles so <laughs> this could be like getting ready to leave like the friendship stage of this connection um i feel like the two of you could be could have been like talking or hanging around you know, hanging out, spending a lot of time together and having a lot of fun together as well. Um, just enjoying life. And now it feels like your person is starting to come to the awareness that they have developed romantic feelings towards you. And they're not exactly sure what to do about it, whether or not to, you know, try and explore this or leave it alone. I feel like um, they've tried to fight the urge. They've tried to, I feel like this has been on their mind for a while and they've tried to like push it aside. Like, so you could have like shown up one day, could have called you up and been sitting with you or whatever the two of you do to that, where you have a lot of fun together, even going for a walk. You may have like worn something specific and this person just, you know, was hanging out with you and looked at you and was like, oh my God, group three is so fine. And they tried to ignore it. But I feel like <laughs> now they're kind of accepting, okay, I do have these feelings for group three. I just don't know what to do about them quite yet. Or if I should do anything. 
So why is the two of swords here? Page of cups. Yeah, this person is not sure whether or not to uh, express their feelings. I feel like they're starting to get a little bit flirty with you. So you might notice in the way they act or, you know, how they're... Uh, their eye contact or maybe they're like maybe they used to make a lot of eye contact and they could be like looking away a lot more maybe they're a little nervous with their eye contact now um, but even if there's there's somebody that doesn't like a lot of eye contact because maybe it freaks them out or whatever it's uncomfortable for them I feel like you would notice in the way that they sit or stand near you you would notice in their body language also seeing like a lot of pink here so they could be blushing a lot more okay i feel i don't even know if we need to really clarify anything else here okay let's clarify knight of cups what's this knight of cups the emperor of aries Yeah, they're trying to keep their composure, but yeah, they have, um, and if they do plan to make a move, they're, they want to be sure about it. Why is death here? Two of cups. Yeah, sometimes I see the Two of Cups as like a, a strong bond, deep friendship as well. So I feel like this for them has changed. The whole dynamic of this connection has changed for your person. Or maybe they're starting to wake up and realize their feelings. Like they could have had these feelings all along and maybe not have admitted it to themselves or have been fully aware. But they're aware now. Clarify the hanged man. The magician. We have Gemini and Virgo. Yeah, they're seeing a potential with this connection. For this to go in the direction of love and romance. Clarify the six of swords. We have the star Aquarius. Yeah, they've accepted that they have feelings for you. They're now seeing this and seeing you as somebody that they want. It's almost like they've wished for this connection. For somebody like you and here you are and you've been there or and they haven't realized it and now they're like waking up to this they're realizing it now they're not fighting it anymore even though like they're still a little confused i feel like they've accepted it within themselves that yes they have feelings yes you are what they want or who they want rather but I feel like they're still keeping it to themselves. They're not saying or expressing it outwardly, um, openly to you quite yet. Okay, so what are their thoughts and feelings? We have the Four of Wands. Ooh, fireworks. <laughs> All I see is fireworks here. We have the six. Is that the queen or the six? It's the queen. Queen of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Crystals or the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Sun, Leo.
Yeah, they see they see themselves settling down with you. I feel like you guys share um, some of the same, like, well, goals, or you could even be, like, in the same field for work, like this similar career paths. Or you're very, like, focused on... Hmm. Hold on, I lost my train of thought there. Because I was getting... Okay, hold on. Let me sit with this Queen of Crystals. I feel like this person has taken um, quite the journey to in their career, like in their personal life as well, uh, to grow, to evolve. Like they have dreams, they have aspirations that they're working towards. And I feel like they see that in you as well. It's almost like they see themselves in you. And so they find that very attractive. Like, I'm, I'm not talking like narcissistic, like, Ooh, you remind me of me. So, you know, you're hot stuff. <laughs> it's not like that. I feel like this is like, they feel like you're right for each other. That they could settle down with you. And I feel like this person is so happy and has so much joy when they're around you. I feel like you also feel the same. And I feel like this exact message almost came out. I pretty much came out for my last reading as well in group three. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems to be group three usually is more relaxed. Yeah, I feel like this person sees themselves settling down with you. This person is like ready to get serious. They're thinking of getting serious. They're like, you know what? Group three would make a great, uh, great partner. Feel like they could also see themselves having kids with you. All right. So actually, let's see. What is this night of crystals? Five of wands. I feel like the two of you challenge each other. And they find that attractive. You challenge this person to go deeper. You challenge them to look deeper, like within themselves. I also feel like they do the same for you. And this is a huge um, turn on for your person. King of Swords. I feel like, yeah, you really get this person thinking. This person loves communicating with you. They, like, for some of you, you, the two of you, like, debate back and forth. You have long discussions and, like I said, really challenge each other. And they really enjoy this. I also feel like it, it gets to be, like, uh, bickering, like playful bickering at times as well. I'm also feeling with the King of Swords, with the Five of Wands, that they're still deciding whether or not they should come forward and actually tell you how they're feeling. You know, what's on their mind with this connection. What exactly to say? So let's see. Ooh, we have Divine Masculine. Yeah. 
So we have this man with the little baby. Like I said, they could, um, the emperor also is like the divine masculine energy. Ooh, we have dark night of the soul. So they could have gone through a spiritual awakening here. Fear. I feel like on the other side of fear was their divinity. So let's see, what are these fears? We could be facing some fears at this time. But again, I feel like you challenge this person as well. So you could bring up some fears for them that make them, you know, really think really want to do a deep dive and understand themselves on a deeper level. Um, the one thing I really love about this person coming through is I know we're getting like a lot of masculine energy coming through, but I feel like it's, they are balanced or they're working towards getting like, nobody's perfect, right? We all have fears. Everyone has fears. Um, we all have things we need to work on, but I feel like this is, if this, it would be like healthy energy. Like, I feel like this is somebody who is very wise, very intuitive, mature, someone that you could trust and rely on. And I feel like I don't know, this person feels like safe, if that makes sense. And maybe that's also like what I imagine that's what most people look for in a partner, hopefully, <laughs> like a long term commitment. They want to feel safe. Um, that's what it feels like with this person. It feels safe. So why is fear here? All right, we have the Four of Crystals. With the Nine of Crystals. Okay, so I'm I'm taking this as it's connected to the Dark Knight of the Soul. Um, you know, everything in the 3D, everything that they've known in the material world, Everything that they've been holding on to or had value been, you know, had a lot, put a lot of value into in the material world is shifting. So I feel like it is bringing up some fears. Um, but I feel like they're grateful for these, this opportunity as well. Yeah, we have the teacher, the Hierophant. There's been, definitely been some sort of awakening. We have uh, Taurus with the Hierophant. And we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with all the pentacles coming out. So they're being asked to trust their inner guidance um, have faith, trust in a higher power, trust in their intuition, their, their higher self, their divinity. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like spiritual awakening for this person. All right, so I'm going to grab your message cards. I'm going to shuffle them out and I will be right back. All right, let's see. No contact. Um, so they could be going through a spiritual awakening while in no contact, but I'm not really feeling that this is no contact. But, you know, if it, if it resonates, take it. If it doesn't, then, you know, just disregard it. I put all of my focus on my work so I don't have to face my shadow. Well, we definitely see here, Dark Night of the Soul, it, they're facing it. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. And then we have Twin Flame. So that could be, this could be your Divine Masculine or you could be the Divine Masculine if, you know, you're, you believe in Twin Flames or you, know, you don't have to. It's Soul Connection here is what, we'll chalk it up to that. I have daydreamed about the proposal. I have conversations in my head with you. I've never gotten over you. So even when you've had periods where you're not talking, not that you're like no contact whatsoever, um, this person is still thinking of you. Still having those little inner conversations. We have, I can't fight my feelings anymore. Yeah, they've accepted their feelings for you. Do you trust me? See, like I was saying, this person... They do feel, I'm getting like a safe feeling with them. I imagine having kids with you. My friends and family know about you. Can I keep you? They could have said that to you, like playful, playfully. Uh, do you get nervous too? So they're, yeah, they're starting to get nervous. You might notice that they're blushing more. You bring out my softer side. You light up every room that you walk into. I have never stopped loving you. You're the last thing on my mind as I fall asleep. I deeply regret what I said in the past. So they may have said something, obviously, that they regret. Could even be like, not that they said anything harsh, but it could be like they said something that... Oh my goodness, like I'm so embarrassed. Group three might think I'm completely ridiculous for saying that. It's kind of like, you know, let's say, for example, if you've had that, just to give you a scenario of what that could be like. If the two of you were friends, they, they feel like in the past they could just say anything and the two of you would laugh just laugh it off like it wouldn't be anything that they would need to be embarrassed about because you were friends right whereas now they've developed feelings and maybe they've said some things and they're like get face palming with themselves like oh my god I can't believe I said that whereas they're a little nervous now <laughs> they're getting those butterflies the thought of reaching out to you gives me anxiety so yeah now they're starting to get nervous when uh, talking to you. I'm trying to connect with you, but you won't let me in. So I feel like they're trying to connect with you on a soul level. No one compares to you. All right, we have Libra. Uh, ninth house. Sagittarius, we have fourth house Cancer and Gemini. We have B, F, N, I, R. I, Y, P, N, T, U, R, M, W, I, V. Oh, I almost dropped that. <laughs> we have an A. Ravi. We have T. Could have Travis. And E. Taryn. Uh, Anita, Aaron, uh, 
I'm seeing Brie, Mia, Marty, Mira, Mary, Priya, could have Vanessa. I'm seeing wife, wifey. Yuri. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it there. So actually not, I'm gonna pull. A time frame since I've done it for the other two groups I'm gonna do it for you too all right when is groups really gonna see movements oh well okay <laughs> I'll take it don't normally take the floor cards, but we're going to take it if I can grab it without falling off my chair. Within a couple of weeks. All right, group three, I'm going to leave it there because that seems pretty straightforward. So within a couple of weeks, this person may finally make their move if you're hoping for them to make their move. All right, so that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you guys all the best and sending you guys so much love. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.